the text messages, all the pictures. The first picture she sent me was um, a picture of a train station. And I even sent it to my friend and I was like, do you believe this? And even my friend was like, yeah, like that looks legit. Like she sent me that picture and um, said, I'm at the train station. Um, and then she just put, send me a picture so I know you're coming. And I sent a video. Literally, the bus station stop is literally there. <laughs> Um, I sent a video. I'm literally at the bus stop. And then, yeah. And then, um, she sent me a picture of her at the trains and I believed it, like... And then, yeah, the whole conversation while I was on the bus is, what do you want for food? Um, and she said she'll have a ham and cheese sandwich and I said okay anything else do you want nachos she said yeah I'll have nachos um, and then I was in I was in Subway then and I was like what bread do you want and she was telling me what bread she wanted and then she put where are you I don't think I'm far Next stop is Newport. Send me a picture of where you're waiting so I know where to find you. I put, I'm here. And she put, show me I don't believe you. So I took a picture outside this train station. And then um, she just kept saying, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. I'm walking up the stairs. I'm buzzing to see you. Where are you? So I sent another picture and then she said she was over the other side of the train station. So I walked over the other side of the train station and then she said she could see me. I can see you. I can see you. She literally carried on to say I can see you. I can see you. I'm coming. And then literally at three o'clock I got keep my name out of your mouth. Karma is best served cold. Um, and she changed her picture on WhatsApp to her and another girl. I don't want to react to it because I, I, I just, please, if anyone, just, I don't want anyone else to make that, the same mistake. People were quick enough to say this morning how I apparently do shit to vulnerable people. That situation is being dealt with off TikTok. I'm not even talking about that. But the fact that person knew that her sending me those pictures and saying she was coming and all like that, she knew that I would believe that because I'm just so naive anyway. No matter how much you hate someone, no matter how much I don't really get it because the lass has been coming on my lives, video calling me at night time, ringing me, saying she misses me and... So I am a bit confused. She's been ringing me saying she misses me and she wants things to work with me and she's been getting angry at me for other girls coming on my live and saying like that I'm beautiful and stuff like that. She's been messaging me on the side. Saying, oh, I want you and all like that. And so I... <sighs> no matter what someone has done to you, I, I don't think it's right to have me to gone through that. So I wasn't going to mention it. But then someone just came in and made a comment like, oh, did you enjoy your setup? And I'm hoping there's someone that's watching that can learn from my mistake of believing it. Because I, I wouldn't want it to happen to anyone else. 
I've, you know, I, I, it wasn't cheap for me to go there. It was £10 a ticket for the bus and then for, I paid, I ended up paying for the taxi thinking she was coming and then she didn't come but I'd already paid for the taxi. So I, because she said she'd go off the train. So I had to get in a taxi because a taxi was there. That was another 40 quid. And then also food, it come to like 20 pounds. Um, so yeah, I feel stupid, but it's going to only make me stronger. I mean, I now have zero trust issues and I don't think I'll be able to trust anyone for a long time. Um, and it, it has... Um, yeah, it's made me definitely open my eyes and realise that I can't just... Um... So these people might have thought this whole setup game or whatever was funny, but in a way it's actually going to help me because I'm going to learn from it and become a stronger and better person. So although, yeah, it was it was quite like, wow, and I am... I'm, I'm not really upset, I'm just annoyed. Um, it's only going to make me stronger. Because now if I ever meet anyone again or anything, I'm just not going to trust as easy as, as I did. So people can sit around and talk about vulnerable people. I am very easily led. And that person knew if they sent me pictures I'm on the train or I'm at the train station that I was going to get on that bus once I was on that bus I couldn't get off I was on my way to Newport um, so yeah I, I don't want to I'm not giving it a reaction because and I wasn't going to mention it I've just been playing it really cool like I'm fine guys like because I don't want people to think they can do that and like hurt me like I didn't want to give them the satisfaction but I'd rather say now while I've got a few people in here so if there is anyone else that's easily led just be careful don't make the same mistake that I did today and I feel like I've been acting fine all afternoon whilst I've been on here just because I haven't really wanted to say anything about it. Because I, I don't really want to let these people think, oh, you know, I'm not going to sit and cry about it. I'm upset, yeah, but at the end of the day, it shows the kind of people that they are for doing that to me. I mean, that's not funny. I, I I couldn't care less if someone hates my absolute guts, even if it is for no reason. You don't do that to somebody. The right people are involved and they're dealing with that. They're dealing with the TikTok thing. And I'm pretty sure that's the only two situations. And they're dealing with it. And they're going to do something about it. It's not me being a grass. Today could have ended up a lot worse. And partly it's my fault. But I also got led to the place by photos. And saying, oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. The TikTok situation, the things I have heard come out of some people's mouths about me has been disgusting. I have made mistakes on this app. I have opened up too much on this app and I have said things on TikTok that I probably shouldn't said. My mouth has probably run away from my head.